Nitin Andam, welcome to Nitin Andam TV News from Bidivi Ashram for Wednesday, May 16, 2012, the year of meditation and cosmic partying, the kind that doesn't do damage to our bodies. Now for today's headlines. A Bhagavad Gita discourse was replayed this morning for Nitin Andam TV satsang. Catching up with the ingenious yoga camp kids and the first day of Nvidyalaya in Toronto, Canada. Atlanta Eugene shows their style. Singapore sends a puja video. Seattle recaps events, including a Japa Japa. And Kailash Yatra, looking forward. Now for today's top stories. A Bhagavad Gita discourse was replayed this morning for Nityananda TV satsang. Swamiji spoke about the Book of Heart. When I am writing every day, thinking, thinking, writing, writing, all these ideas, so many will click with me internally, that internal Guru's teachings. I will pen down that also. In the initial level, you should be doing this, keeping the book of art. For the external success, accounts is very important. For the internal success, enlightenment, book of the heart is very, very important. I am not saying you should read it every day, no, just maintain it. You will see how your concepts about you, society, God, world, everything is getting matured. Your ideas will grow matured. Otherwise, sometimes. Just by immature ideas, you waste your whole life. You will see how your ideas are getting matured. If you know how your ideas are getting matured, you will understand you are really growing. You will have so much of confidence. You are really growing. Only when you have the book of heart, you will get the habit of constantly referring to it in your heart. See, only when you start penning down externally, you will slowly digest it, internalize it. That will become part of you. You will pen down, pen down, pen down, pen down. In the paper, externally, or type it. Then simply it will become part of you. The book of heart. When it becomes internal, that is what I call your scripture. Please understand. Each one has to write his scripture. My scripture cannot be useful completely for you. Your scripture cannot be useful completely for your disciples, if you become enlightened. Even if you become enlightened, your scripture cannot be 100% useful for your disciple. I can say, my scripture can be useful for you, maybe 90% because we are in same time zone, same period. But the last 10% which is crucial, you only have to write for yourself. Same way for your disciple, if you become enlightened, for your disciple also, only 90% of your book of art will be useful for him. The remaining crucial 10%, he has to write. Understand, don't trust your mind, thinking that you can behave very smartly and achieve. No, sit and learn to create book of heart, your scripture, your shastra, give this as a title, book of heart, my book, my scripture, my shastra. Because many times, even your own growth, you will not understand. Catching up with the ingenious yoga camp kids. We caught up with the meditation and following the kids to lunchtime. They also shared their daily yoga routine and experiences. Open your eyes.
Please all of you hand over your oil pants. Now, now start. Okay, this is summer camp. Summer camp is a 28 days uh, program and it will recollect all your body parts. It will make your means like it will make your body parts stronger and very flexible. So 21 days means like one one body part will get strong, strong, strong. And, and we are going to do one nice formation on the rope now. We are going to perform. And how do you like it so far? Yeah, because it is very nice, it is very good for your body. So we are not to feel any pain. No, that's good. I feel like everyone is happy because of this summer camp. And now we are going to do formations. Oh, now formations. Okay. One of the formations is start, start, start. Okay, one minute. in Toronto, Canada. The report says, today the first NVIDIA Leia class started in Toronto. We had 12 kids sign up and two more who turned up late but would join from next weekend. We started with Arti and blessings from Swamiji's Padakas after registration was done. Then the kids were taken to the community center where the class happened. They played a game of not using the words I, me and mine. And for Mother's Day, they made a gift for their mothers with paper cups, sparkles, glue, and a lot of fun. After a short yoga session, kids came back to the temple. They performed Sri Krishna Arti, 
Many trying it out for the first time. The curtains open for Nityanana Venkat Tashwara Darshan. The kids enjoyed a grand lunch and parents were happy and one of them said, this is what we've been waiting for all along. Thanks to everyone who brought the program together. In international news, Atlanta Eugene is spreading Swamiji's Mahavakya and providing visibility to the new peace website minuteforpeace.org in Atlanta. They have designed a t-shirt sporting the Mahavakya and the website Earl. Singapore showcases their Sri Vidya Pujas. <laughs> Well, I am Mrs. Indu Roy and want to share my amazing experiences about Shri Vidya Puja. I am from India. I have come over here in Singapore and it happened that I attended the Shri Vidya Puja and for which I was studying and reading into my books and was keen to know more about that. And it was just a coincidence that I got an invitation to attend this Shri Vidya. It was just a miracle and I could not express into, I cannot rather, I am overwhelmed that when I actually could see performing this Shri Vidya Puja for which I was craving for and after attending two and a half hour Puja, I am totally a transformed person and lot of energy was flowing out and I, it's just fabulous, amazing and it's all the blessing of Sri Vidya Devi and I am thankful to consider me a devotee and I am blessed, I am thankful to my neighbors Guruji who have performed this and I am very lucky to attend this program. God bless me. Thank you. Seattle flows through the Arudra Festival and Akana Japa Japa. Japa Japa has been going on for 21 days here in Seattle, Chidambaram. From April 14th to May 4th, we have done for 24 hours a day. Groups and pairs of volunteers and devotees have been sitting and doing the Akhanda Japa Japa, which is chanting the Guru Mantra, Om Hrim Nityanandaya Namaha, and rolling the prayer wheel. So here, let us listen to some testimonials and experiences of the people who have done Akhanda Japa Japa. I'm Mark Avinananda. Uh, Japa Japa experience was been like very divine and great. It's like 
it just take, took me to the second level. Uh, uh, one day, actually, it was Sunday, I remember, uh, my slot was 4 to 8. So I came in and uh, I did Namaskaram to Swami's Padakas. And uh, I prayed to Swami that my devotion should uh, should be stronger, even more stronger. It's like, it was so peaceful. And then I was just uh, chanting and then listening to the mantra which was uh, uh, coming in the speaker too. Mm -hmm. So as I was speaking, I was listening and I, I somehow after like 15-20 minutes, I started hearing the voice Amma. Mm. Uh, so then I continued to listen to that voice and then I just aligned myself and enjoying that voice which was coming along with the Achapa Achapa. Mm. Uh, the complete four hours was over and it was such a blissful experience uh, so much of energy and I was like I had so much of joy almost like I can fly and mm. I went home I was contemplating on that voice what is that voice I heard mm -hmm. and then suddenly I had this uh, inner voice saying that okay connect to Swami as the mother to increase your devotion so Swami was really uh, doing the satsang uh, I was I was always praying like Swami uh, the last two days is like I was saying like Swami I haven't seen De Devi Bhava Swami in the Devi Bhava and I, I was like uh, that would help me to connect more to Swami if I can see Swami in the Devi Bhava and Tuesday uh, surprisingly like Divine heard my voice so Swami said like tomorrow is Devi Devi Bhava for inner awakening heart hmm. and uh, so this happened after you heard Ma don't after I heard Ma so I went and went and said the voice what everybody was uh, chanting. chanting and what I'm chanting, mm. I, I couldn't believe it is the voice what I heard in the uh, during the Sunday when I was chanting. Oh, so nice. It was like the tears poured down like anything because it, it, I felt like it is my voice in that mantra. <laughs> Instead of I thought like it's my son's voice, it's my voice. Where the way I saw mm -hmm. that when I used that Amma word for the first time to cause me a divine mother, that's when it's like it was like, oh, it's like such a so much of deeper connection like the, mm. as if like the word was reserved for the divine mother yeah Ityanandam. Tell yeah. Me. Uh, if i want to talk about achabachaba experience it's not i at all it's not saha at all more and more saha is doing achabachaba it's not saha it's nicely saha's mind gone and saha being get revealed my first experience was with achabachaba was uh, I was um, uh, doing a japa japa, I mean I had a strong vision of Swamiji present there inside the temple and after the japa finished I just went and uh, just gave my gratitude and did the namaskar to the paduka uh -huh. and I saw so much of vibhuti appearing on the paduka and the second experience was um, uh, I was doing a japa japa in the next day and uh, I had strong vision of Vishnu and I just went uh, and uh, saw underneath his feet there are so much of vibhuti. So I had the experience with Swamiji. He was present all that time when I did the Ajapa Japa. Thank you. It was uh, an experience beyond words. Uh, I think another space and a time that was given to us by Swami for our personal growth and for our growth as a son. Um, I felt an immense expansion in myself. Um, I took up doing the 2012 project work given by Swami and uh, I made use of the time during the Japa to chant inside as well as con concentrate on my work for the 2012 project. Um, these were things I don't think I would have done before. It felt really beautiful and uh, taught me that I can go beyond what I think is possible. and. Uh, some more in the direction of awareness and uh, understanding of who I am and what more can I do. My experience during Ajapa Japa was just amazing. It gave me an opportunity to expand, to do things that I never thought I could do. One example was uh, we start, when initially Swamiji announced Ajapa Japa, we were all wondering uh, how could I do four hours or six hours in a row. but uh, I ended up doing sometimes eight hours in a row and I just got up once in those eight hours. So that was a revelation for me in terms of pushing myself to new limits. Second, along with other things that we were doing, um, I was also pushing myself overall and Thank you, Swamiji.
for giving this giving this experience. My experience with the Ajapa Japa was it was a very powerful experience, and uh, that the uh, the prayer wheel seemed to create its own energy, and uh, it seemed like that my energy and the prayer wheel energy kind of became one energy, and uh, even with the other people that were chanting, sometimes it was very synchronous and that their energy kind of joined together and became even a bigger energy. And so it was it was a constantly a changing thing. It wasn't just a static experience. And um, I'm real happy that I was able to be a part of it and experience that. My experience with Ajapa, Ajapa has been very uh, phenomenal. I came to know something unique about myself is my ability to sit continuously for four hours and chanting a mantra. Uh, I couldn't have imagined myself doing just as simple thing as this continuously. Thank you. Padam Sir Kumantra Midu Mongri Nityanandaya Nama Mongri Nityanandaya Nama And local news from Bidhi Ashram. Let's take a look at Kailash Yatra. Swamiji says, even if you don't have two legs, two hands, if you have lost everything except your eyes, even if you are in that situation, don't miss Kailash. I want to tell you not to miss Kailash. If Kailash was politically inside India, I am 100% sure I will make my ashram there. Not getting leave should not be the reason to not go to Kailash. Just resign the job. Whoever trusts me feels connected to me. I tell you, even if you resign the job to come to Kailash, when you get back, you will get a job. Dates are July 27th to August 14th and July 23rd to August 9th. Email to en.yatras at nitinanda.org and find the Kailash intention form on en-yatras.nitinanda.org. That's all from Nitinanda TV News for now. Thank you for joining us and let us end our news with a bliss dose from the Avatar. Intensity does not create conflict inside or outside. It flows smoothly and very strongly to move you into the right action. We'll see you next time on Nityananda TV News. Nityanandam.